welcome to my channel. This is Tea Thoughts and I'm Teresa. I talk about all things faith, books, and lifestyle. I upload videos every Monday and on Wednesdays. In this week's video, I am sharing with you my trusted book sources and how I pick out what I'm going to read next. Okay? Alrighty. So every month I sit down and I figure out what I'm going to read for the month. So I normally read um, three books a month, two fiction books and one nonfiction book. Usually the nonfiction book is a Christian based book, something that helps me in my faith um, or something like that. Um, but this year I've decided to change that and start reading four books a month because I want to reach my reading goals of 50 books by the end of the year. So how do I choose what books I'm going to read? Well, some months it's pretty easy and some months I just don't know what I'm going to read. <laughs> some months I'll just be like, oh Lord, I don't know. So what I do is I have, um, I listen to several book um, podcasts. I love a podcast. I listen to quite a few of them. And then I follow some um book people or on um, Instagram so or bookstagram if you want to call it that so if you ever try to figure out like what you need to read um, I'm gonna give you some of my book sources and hopefully it'll help you so one when I first started um, back reading because I was in um, college for a long time I went I was adult I went working full-time went back to school uh, raising my family and so a lot of my reading um, consisted of school stuff um, some Christian books and things like that but when I finished school I was like I don't want to read any stuff like that I want to read stuff for fun and so I started um, reading or listening to some um, book podcasts and one of the ones that I like is called what should I read next with Ann Bogle she's um her she has a blog called uh, modern mrs darcy and also on there she does a um, podcast called what should i read next <laughs> and so on that podcast she shares um she has guests on there some some authors but mostly book guests and they um share three books that they're loving and one book that they're not that they have not loved and then she gives three book suggestions for them nine times out of ten I could find one to two books, whether from the guests or whether from Anne, that I want to add to my TBR. I've had good success with her and I love listening to her podcast. So she's got quite a, she's got a, a new podcast called One Great Book, I believe it's called, in where she shares her point of view on a book that she's read. But I, I love that podcast so go to I Apple or Google Play I think she's on Spotify if you like podcasts uh, pick up and, and subscribe to Ann Bogle's um, podcast the other podcast that I listen to is called currently reading currently reading has two um, hosts and they share their bookish moment of the week and then they share what they're currently reading and then they kind of do a deep dive on book topics and so um i really enjoy meredith and katie meredith is really much like thriller mystery katie um, reads a lot of um current reads a little middle grade um uh, African American or people of color um, type books and stuff like that. People are, are, are authors, I should say, but um, and some kind of sometimes some political type books or what's happening in the um, in the culture. So she's a good source for that. Um, I've gotten um, matter of fact, Meredith has me on the Louise Penny um, read that I'm doing for the year, and so um, that's been a trusted book source for me too. Also, Sarah's Bookshelf Live. I listen to her podcast. Her podcast is a bi-weekly podcast. These other two are weekly podcasts. Now, Sarah, um, out of the three, I am more in line with Sarah's taste somewhat than the other, but I always get good book sources from them. So Sarah, what Sarah does on her podcast, she... Um, interviews authors she does author interviews then she does a cute um, segment with um, Sarah I mean not Sarah um, Gilmore guides 
and they come on there and they give us like winter previews, spring previews, fall previews, all those type of things. And then they just give us all books. So I get a lot of book suggestions from them too. Um, on Instagram, I follow Reese Witherspoon's book club. I like, I like books that's going to tell me a story or has a plot. I don't like a lot of character driven books. If you build a character but something's got to happen for me to stay um, engaged with it um, and so sometimes Reese books can be she gives me a little bit of both so I've, I've had good success with her also the book of the month I follow them on Instagram so I get to see what books they've chosen for the month and see if I like any of those also, that this one I really like um, is the Stacks podcast. Well, it's called the Stacks Pod. I follow her on Instagram. She's a hoot. Now, she does a lot. Now, she has a podcast, but she does mostly nonfiction books. And a lot of it is culture-based or um, people of color and things like that. So I get my people those type of recommendations from the Stacks. And, and not only just people of color, but just very... Um, non-fiction um, memoirs or um you know some like i got that book called the empire of pain i got that from um the stacks and so that was that one was pretty i got that actually from the stacks and from sarah so those were good book book recommendations from her the other person i follow on instagram is absorbing pages and she's really good. I get a lot of my um, African American authors from Absorbs and Pages. And then there's another girl that I follow on Instagram. I think it's um, Black Girl Reads, I believe is her handle on Instagram. I'll find it and put it in the description box. But I just started following her last year and she's a good source too. I think I got no, Seven Days in June, which was one of my favorite books of last year. Um, I got that off of, I think I got that book from Sarah, from Sarah Bookshelves. But then um, Absorbing Pages and um, Black Girl Reads, they put it on their Instagram too. And I, I went and got it. So, and that was one, of, and I was very surprised that that was one of my favorite books because um, some of the subjects in it was not normally what I read, but it was really good. So those are some of my book sources. And so what I'll do is I'll go through, I'll put them in my Goodreads app and um, I will see when I go to the store or I'll, if I want to um, order a book on Kindle, I'll go through my Goodreads app, see, put it in my TBR, and then I'll figure out, okay, I want to read this this month, this this month, and I'll just pick it, and then I'll either go to the store and pick up the books that I want to read, or I'll download them on my Kindle. But this year, I am using, hold on, I am using this book journal. Let me see if I can get it in frame. Now, Anne from What Should I Read Next, she um, wrote this, and it's called My Reading Life, A Book Journal. And I'm using this as my TBR because it gives me, I can put a hundred books in this, this um, journal. And, I, and then she gives book suggestions. I have, um, this is what I'm tracking my books in. Let's see. You see it? There we go. I'm tracking my books in this, and I've got TBR, my to be read list. Hold on, guys. I got my to be TBR list here, and I haven't put anything here because I went in being grown and started <laughs> writing my books for this month. In here already and so like my book one that I'm reading five money personalities I can put the author the genre how long it is um, it says publisher which I don't really care about publisher stuff I know other people do but I put on here what type of book it was so this is an audio book so I put audio theme of it is money management how did I get it I got this from organize you with Elena um, that's in the organizational class that I'm in 
and she suggested that and then right here it'll say if it's fiction nonfiction, when I started it when I finished it and then I can rate it and whether I recommend it to someone so I picked up this so I think this is good I have been looking for something like this because I had been tracking my books in my planner and it, at the end of the year I got to get all the sheets and stuff together kind of figure out where I'm at so uh, it was okay so I ended up getting this so I am loving this okay all right guys that is how um, I figure out what I'm gonna read for the month and my book sources I hope that this um, video has been helpful to you if you've got book recommendations for me put them in uh, comments below and let me know what you're currently reading. All right. Okay, guys. I hope this video has helped you. If you like this video, hit subscribe, hit like, and share it with a friend. I'll see you next week. Oh, be kind to yourself. Don't you forget. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to someone, someone else. And have a grace-filled week. I'll see you next week. Bye.